In three days, the winner of this HGTV Dream Home on Anastasia Island will be picked. However, when they are, they might be in for a bit of a rude awakening. As Action News' Jack Finn Carlin explains, the home still needs to be approved by local leaders. I go on every day every and day. put it in, yeah. I'm if you're serious about winning a dream home, it's been, you'll... it's been at least 10 years that I've registered for them and, you know, haven't won. Or as competitive as the Rex Road family. I give myself a um, 72% chance of winning. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a surprise to find out. One lucky winner gets to call this beautiful place home. This one hasn't been approved yet. Oh, no. Yeah. That's fun. Doesn't sound too dreamy for these people. Yeah, you would think that they would have everything in order before they started building, building something like that. The drawings for the home were approved by the city last year, but now the city's asking how that even happened. The sea wall surrounding the home was built without full approval, and the house itself is five feet too wide than what the property is zoned for. And this is... A mess is what this is. St. Augustine's Planning and Zoning Board met to review the house earlier this month. Questions came up about how permits to build the house were ever approved. I'm just confused about the fact that it's the whole development. Board members brought up two parts of the development causing concern. The construction plans say the pool area and seawall were drawn up by others, but the city doesn't know exactly who put the plans together. I'm questioning when, where, and why the pool deck got so big. Some hoping for the dream home say it all seems like more of a nightmare. Give me the money, I'm going to run. I don't need problems at this stage in my life. The city's planning and zoning board is reviewing the home again next Tuesday. I reached out to the board, the builder of the home, and the attorney representing them. None were able to speak with me today because the home is still under review. For local coverage you can count on in downtown St. Augustine, Finn Carlin, Action News Jacks.